Alright guys, I'm at dollar 140 and 36.9. I'm trying to stretch it out to 37 guys. It is at the tippy tippy top. I don't know. We're going to see. Alright guys, this is the end. 141 37 gallons he is on full full and we're gonna see what the number is that is the first time i fully 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 filled up last time and i think it stopped at 34 gallons i don't know i'm gonna have to check the uh the credentials on this truck because I thought that joint said 36 gallon tank. I'm over here at 37. Head scratcher. Hey, yo, what's going on? Y'all got like a secret tank in this joint? All right, guys. Got my trailer game working. And I am going to do this. Tapping start. Light test. Let's cycle the trailers. You see that, guys? I'm going to hit the... Oh, so what did it do? Is it a run through that in a sequence? So we're gonna go check it out, guys. That was the reverse lights. Still go to brake lights. They're on the trailer. I mean, on the truck. And let me see if you. Okay, they go to reverse light. Brake lights, turn signal, turn signal, reverse, boom, brake. Step back a little bit more so you can see in my back. Okay, boom, reverse light. Brake light. Left. Right. Bro, that is a game changer. Check the trailer lights, man. Make sure you good before you go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It's your boy, man. Stepping my game up. To that new shit. Get a, a good walk around on this joint for y'all. We got... The Z71 package with the Allison brand transmission. Got the Ronto shocks in the front. And we got the Z71 Rancho shocks in the back. Let's go. Guys, I got my weight safe on here right now. And he is at pretty much Oh, 450 on there right now. Tongue weight. That's okay, guys. It's cool. I rock with the Segway, but I'm going to get my hitch off of the, the Eco Beast and I'm going to see how the setup with the, the, the weight distributing bars in the back is going to be. I mean, cause I really ain't, it really ain't squatting, but you know, who knows? Maybe every now and then I might need to put them on. Guys, I am stoked. 2024 Chevy Silverado HD. Yeah, man. Brand new off the showroom floor. Thing had four miles on it when I got it. Four miles on it. When I got this joint. He is... The LT, not the LTZ, just the LT model. Got the uh, rubber mat four lining in here. Guys, I gotta be honest with you. From the EcoBeast to the 2500, 
guys, I think I did a, I think I made a good decision to go up to the HD. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. I had a chance to get another Platinum 2021 F-150 EcoBoost, but I said, you know what? I want to see what this new 2024 model is doing. I want to get a a good tow rating with some regular regular wheels on here. All right, guys. Loaded up with the uh, same joint. Yeah, you know I mean, 2500 on the back. Got him up there. Got a little squat jumping off. That's why I want the weight distributing bars, man, to push that push that weight back in the front. You see, I'm looking good. I'm looking good. Yeah, we looking good. We looking good. We looking good. All right, guys. It's your boy, baby. I'm out here. Making it do what it do. Heavy haul. everybody out there in the hauling world what's going on it's your boy i'm back at you with another one this time we got an upgraded version of the eco beast we got the black beast y'all hearing This is, all right, you see that? It's getting close. This is going to be the 1,000 mile review. 1,000 miles I've been, I've put on this vehicle since I've got it. No one else put miles on it but me. Original, first, first original owner of the 2024 Chevy Silverado HD with the 10 speed Allison brand transmission 6.6 .6 liter diesel. No, I'm just fucking with you. 6.6 .6 liter gas. The gasser joint. You feel me? Ryan, smooth. Listen. Coming from a Ford. I'm gonna be honest, guys. They all do. I mean, I'm, I'm sure if I had an F-250. Here's the thing, though. I'm realizing that straight axle in the Fords and the, and the Rams don't compare to the uh, single stuff they got going on. Single suspension thing. Hey, this, this joint ride like a Cadillac. Damn. Smooth out here. Went on the haul it. Haul it, haul it, haul it. Oh, yeah, yeah. He big, big boy back there. 2023 Gasser Chevy Silverado HD. Hey, I'm out here, man. I got this new joint. I'm feeling good. The gas mileage is great. The, the pull from this joint is aggressive. Man. The new infotainment center in here. Yeah, I mean, you guys understand what's going on, man. Hard work, dedication, baby. That's all I can say. Eco Beast made about a good hundred off of that joint last year. So I'm about to step in something, upgrade and see if I can do more this year. Y'all already know what it is, man. That's how you do it. It was just a beautiful stepping stone. A beautiful stepping stone. I, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't go back to the Eco Beast. I'm not even gonna say I wouldn't go back because again, I got the HD just to see 
what the difference was in hauling with that and then hauling with what you guys always saying in the comments. Oh, you should get a heavy duty truck and all that. So now I got one I, to compare and see. I gotta say, yeah, as far as aggressive on the pool, you guys already know it's gonna be that. But it's the sturdiness for me. Like, you know, not like them New York niggas getting sturdy. I'm talking about like the way this joint is sturdy on the on the highway. Like, I don't get any of that back and forth motion, seesaw motion. Like, I used to get some time in the F-150. And I'm over here hauling heavy right now. Going through these uh, Kentucky hills. And I'm talking about smooth transmission. Uh, 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 switch, you know what I mean? Out of gears into another gear smoothly. Like, oh my goodness. Yo, this is a. This was a good. Good decision for me, you guys. I, I'm not hating on the Eco Beast whatsoever. But like a lot of people in my comments used to understand, that was a, a special niche operation. Like getting that 150 and one car hauling with a 150 you were limited because you couldn't get nothing like this definitely that was just out the question you'd be struggling like a, a mug on that joint but coming to the HD man I gotta say I'm a little happy guys I mean so far so good kicked in the overdrive coming up that hill man this joint is exclusive I think those are so I'm about probably 95 probably 95 in between 95 and 10 and he's going up this this gray holding it I'm putting it in cruise control Eco Beast. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I ain't getting up that hill on the Eco Beast that at 60. With that on the back. I, I 
I'll probably be getting up there 35 maybe. So hey, that that let me know right there. Yeah, stepping up to a HD is definitely more sturdy. Definitely more power. I don't know. And uh, this is equipped with a 373 gear ratio. So, yeah, guys. That's the engine brake. Engine brake doing this thing. Yo, I'm loving it. I'm loving the Chevy, son.